This is Stuff You Like, you can call me Ursa, and happy birthday to us! We are three today. Well, more or less. Also, happy birthday to William Shakespeare, who is 450. Or would be if he weren't, you know, dead. This isn't gonna be the usual sort of episode, so for that I apologise in advance. And if you wanted the usual sort of episode, come back in a fortnight. We're talking about Pride and Prejudice, probably. Instead, today I'm going to ramble about life and death and mortality and impact and Shakespeare and legacies and then I'm gonna ask you a question. Maybe two questions. So with fair warning, here we go. We're all gonna die. Eventually. Okay, that was a pretty morbid start. Uh, let's see if we can't improve on it. In his book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, which is an excellent book but a really wordy title, Stephen Covey has as habit number two, begin with the end in mind. TM, probably. The essence of the habit is this. What do you want people to say about you when you're gone? What do you want to be remembered for? Two years ago, I lost a friend, Malcolm Bird. He never wrote a book or play, he never composed a symphony, or designed the Golden Gate Bridge, or did anything for which he will be remembered by the wider world. But his impact on my life didn't have anything to do with how rich or famous he was or wasn't. It was a lot more personal than that. He loved God, he was kind, and he was generous, and he really liked chocolate cake, and every time I think of him, I smile, because he was the sort of person who made the world better by being in it. And you most likely have neither met him nor heard of him, but because he impacted my life in some very small way, he is now impacting yours too. I hope for the better. And doesn't everybody want that? To make a positive impact on the world such that even when you leave it, people still remember you fondly and remember how you have improved their lives in some way. Of course, who you were fades out pretty quickly in the grand scheme of things, but this is where Shakespeare comes in. See, I told you we get to him eventually. Shakespeare is 450 years old, or would be if he weren't dead, but that's not the point. But 450 years after his birth, we still remember him. We still read his sonnets, we still perform his plays. Within two generations, Shakespeare had no direct descendants. His line ended with his granddaughter Elizabeth. But 450 years later, we still remember him. We can't possibly remember every detail of a person's life, or know every nuance of their rich interior world, but we can remember what they've left us. And that is much more democratic. You don't have to know a person to be powerfully affected by their writing, or their music, or the good they did in the world. I mean, nobody remembers Joseph Salt's favourite song, but the polio vaccine has improved millions of lives and saved millions more. Or, to bring us back in again, we don't remember Shakespeare's favourite colour, but we do remember to be or not to be. In the shorter and more immediate term, we remember who people were and that impacts on our lives. And in the longer term, we remember what they left us behind. And that impacts on our lives too. Which gets me thinking about us. I mean, not everyone's gonna be Gandhi or Mother Teresa or Mary Curie or Martin Luther or Martin Luther King Jr. for that matter, but all of us are going to leave an impact on the world. What's it gonna be? If I must choose what that impact is. I choose knowledge and joy. I want to make people smarter and happier and more effective and I want them to carry that out into the world and make it better. And so I make series about the Bible or movies or TV or books or science. This is my show. I think of the ideas and I write it and I shoot it and I edit it and I put it on the internet. And so it's very me, me, me. If my Twitter replies are anything to go by, you are a bunch of smart and interesting and motivated people, and I would really like to know what do you want to do with your lives? What impact do you want to make on the world? And if you could be remembered in four and a half centuries time for the contributions that you made to humanity, what would they be? Happy anniversary, everyone. Thank you for watching. I look forward to hearing what you've got to say.